Hello world, this is What's Up 290 In today's video, I'm going to be doing an updated video of my previous video showing you how to run a Tor Delay or Tor Server on your on on your on Windows or Mac OS X. So this is an updated version of a video I did quite a while ago. That shouldn't that is it that will enable you to run your Tor Delay with the most current version of the Tor software. So you, you're going to need the Tor browser on your computer for this method. Basically, if you don't know what Tor is, it's a network that enables you to surf the internet anonymously. And uh, well, it does on well, it it does this by moving your data around different relays that like relays that they need volunteers that they need volunteers to run and the more and more you you should go online and research what Tor is but the more and more relays of these server slash relays that they have running the bet the better Tor is going to work so here's the Tor download page just to uh, download the Tor browser for whatever operating for what either Windows or Mac OS X whatever operating system you have and then install it once you've installed it, go to the uh, directory that you go to the uh, go to whatever directory on your computer you installed it to, and then open up the open up the uh, Tor browser folder that you installed the Tor browser to. What you're going to want to do is search for a file called Torc, T O R C C, and one of these fo folders will will be titled T O R C C slash defaults. Open that folder, open that file using a text editor, notepad if you're on Windows or text edit if you're on a Mac. Click OK. That'll look like this. So what you're going to want to do, take this information which is at this URL here. Copy in to the torque folder, and there you go. Now we got some stuff to change here, so it'll say nickname. I didn't edit the config. What you're going to want to do is uh, change that, change what's after, change what the text that's after nickname to whatever you want the name of your relay to be on the Tor network. I'm just doing this as a test, so I'll just name it you. Contact info, you probably should put your put your email address because uh, if there's something that is not working right or if your relay goes down for a certain amount of time, it will Tor will send an email to that email address email address saying saying that there's something letting you know that there's something that's not working right with the relay. Where it says QR port four four three, you can set that is the port number that your relay will use to send data the to and from the Tor network. You're gonna want to you can set this to basically whichever port number you want just by typing the port number in here. I'll name it nine thousand. But keep in mind whatever port number you use, you type in here. It do, it needs to be a Port that is set up for that is configured for port forwarding on your network, because if the port you use is not configured for port forwarding on your network or firewall, well then the Tor software will not be able to send the data out to the Tor network. The data for running the relay out to the Tor network. So you just want to save that and then start your Tor browser. It'll go through the connection process, and there you go. What you want to do is click this green onion, click Tor Network Settings. What you're going to want to do to, to check the status of your relay, what you're going to want to do is click Copy Tor Log to Clipboard. Seven, it'll say this many messages have been copied to the clipboard. Then what you want to do is just open up 
a new uh, um, text edit file or quick paste. And it'll and as you can see, it's going through the stuff now where it'll say Torah successfully opened a circuit. Look it's going through stuff now where it'll say now checking whether this port is reachable. And what you want to do is check it within a few minutes. If your relay is successfully up and running, it'll come up with this message here that'll say self-testing indicates your QR port is reachable outside X Excellent. And it'll also go on to say that like it's now publishing server district descriptor or something like that. So if that if you get that message, that means that um, your relay is successfully running. Whereas if it's not successfully running, like you're using a port that like if you're not using a port that's uh, configured for port forwarding. It'll say like we something like we could not reach the port or port your relay is not running or it'll say something like that. If you go back and um, regularly, if you go back and uh, click click copy tour lock to clipboard regularly, it, it will at times come up. With things that'll say like how like uh, how much data your relay is sending, and all of that. So what you so what you can also do is go to open up your browser and go to torstatus.blutimage.de. This is where all of the all of the relays that are Tor relays that are not bridges will be listed. I'm running a Tor relay on my desktop computer, on my other computer, which is called Torland, but I just started it, so it may not be here yet. Let's search for it. Might be named Botland. So here is the relay I'm running off of my other computer via this method. If you right click, if you just click on the relay, click on a different relay because I don't want to give all my contact information, it will say what version of Tor is currently running, what operating system, and it will show the relay's name, and how long it's been up for. Please keep in mind, if your relay doesn't appear doesn't appear right away, that's normal, because this list does not immediately update. So, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. This is What's Up 290, and I'm signing off. Have a nice day, and I'll see you next video.